Hello everyone. Today's topic is where under calendars the date is given. You need to find what day is on that date. For this thing, you have to importantly remember these two tables. Very simple, basic. We know the weekdays. That is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But the important thing that you have to remember is the date. This is the number that represents those days. If we get the number as zero, it is Sunday. If we get it as one, that is Monday. Two is Tuesday, three is Wednesday, and so on. So very important and simple table. Just you need to remember the numbers that it starts from zero. That is Sunday. One more table. We know what are the odd days. So the odd days are nothing but when you divide the number by seven, whatever remainder you will get, that is the odd day. So in each month, how many odd days are there? So if the month of January is having thirty-one days. 31 divided by 7, you will get the remainder as 3. So that means there are 3 odd days. So you have to just quickly remember this table in every month how many number of odd days we have. Important thing to point out here to notice here is in the month of Feb, I have considered this as an ordinary year. So as it is an ordinary year, the month of Feb will be having 28 days. That is the reason there are zero odd days. But if it is a leap year, if your year is a leap year, there would be having one odd day because it has 29 days. So this is very important thing to remember for this table. Now let's see a quick live example to understand the question and how can we solve that. So the date is given. That is 15th August 1980. What you have to do? Very first step. Divide that into three parts. Which are those three parts? Date, month, and year. So let's quickly divide them. Very first, we are taking year. Now here, the point to be noted is the given year is a leap year or it is not a leap year. So 1980 is a leap year. That means month of Feb would be having one odd day. Correct. So this point to be remember. But 1980 is not yet completed. It's still going on. Which years are completed? 1979. Up till 1979 is completed. So what we will do? We will divide that. 1900. We will divide that into 1600 plus 300. That is 1900. And then we will take the remainder part. That is 79. So you can see 1600 is nothing but 400 into 4. We have seen that every 400 is having zero odd days. That means we will get the answer as zero. Next. 300 years that is only one set of 300 years and every 300 years is having one or day so the answer sum up would be a one next the important part 79 out of that 79 how many ordinary years are there how many leap years are there how can we do that simply divide the number by 4 79 divided by 4 you will get 19 leap years multiply that by 2 why because every leap year is having two odd days similarly every ordinary year is having one odd day So you will multiply the leap year by two and one with the ordinary year. You will get the answer. So here the answer we got is hundred and eight. Coming to the next part, the second part that is month. August is not yet completed. It's still fifteenth August. Which month are completed? Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July. In each month, how many days are there? Or we can say how many odd days are there? We need to capture that. Okay. Now here you can clearly mention. You can clearly see we have mentioned for February one. Why? Because the current year for which we are calculating that is a leap year. So for February it would be having twenty nine days. If the calculated year is an ordinary year, you can con consider that as zero. So that gave us sum of seventeen. Date is fifteen. Now quickly add up all the three parts. One zero eight. Seventeen and fifteen. Whatever answer you will get, divide that by seven. You will get the odd day that is zero. And in the previous table, we will have learned on zero we have Sunday. Okay. So let's quickly solve one more example for your better understanding. Twenty fifth March two thousand five. Divide that into three parts: year, month, and date. So for year, we have two thousand five. That's an ordinary year. Dividing that into two sets: two thousand and four. Out of that four, it's only one leap year. Rest three will be ordinary year. So two plus three giving it to us five. Month March is going on. Jan and Feb are complete. Two thousand five is an ordinary year. So Feb will again go with zero. Only month Jan that would be having three. And the date that you have twenty five. Add up twenty five plus three plus five. So that gives you as thirty three. Thirty three divided by seven remainder is five. On the number five, we have the Friday. Here, I'm not giving you any examples to solve. You can take any date, try to solve it, Google it. On this date, uh, what is the day? You will get your answer. So I'm not giving you any question. Those are in general questions with any of the aptitude test. Just take any date for your calculation. Make sure you take a mixture of the month, of the years, leap year, century years, 
and try to solve it hope it was understandable hope it was meaningful uh, yeah i know one more thing here you may be getting many ready made formulas for such kind of questions but many a times those formulas are really difficult to implement so it's better to learn the logic this is the logic behind every date so go with this method you will get your answer and that to accurate always thank you so much see you next time